Hello, my children. My name is Wolf Duckworth, the Quack God, the Lord of the Stream. This is part of my long journey through the Pokemon series that I explained in my documentary, The Living Pokedex, A Redemption Story. If you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend watching it, but either way, here's what's happening. I am beating every single Pokemon game, I'm catching all the Pokemon in their original regions, and then I'm transferring them all to Pokemon Home, where I will have a real living Pokedex. As I play, I'll have a second copy of Heart Gold playing at the same time, so I can catch any trade evolutions, version exclusives, or legendaries that I want. Truly play in the game with no annoying restrictions or limits. This is episode four of my journey, so if you want to catch up, use the link in the description below. And without any further ado, let's jump back in to Pokemon Soul Silver. When we left off, we had just barely defeated Whitney and secured the plane badge for the team. What do you want, a badge? Yep, exactly what I want. Even though I was still wildly underleveled, I decided to skip the grind and head north on Route 35 towards Ecratique City. Oh, this is like the gauntlet. What is she have? Oh, perfect. Can absolutely wreck her. Super effective against electric. Just slinging beef. Beef will get it done. I'm not particularly worried about it. Poot.com. <laughs> devil. Got ourselves a flaffy. I'm Cameron the photographer. You look photogenic. Why not have a picture taken? <laughs> sure. Wow, that looks... It looks nice. Thank you. Is this like cockfighting? Yeah. In almost every way. It's like beetle fighting. Yeah. Is beef grass fed? Um, beef only eats the blood of his enemies. Now I can call you anytime whether anything's up or not. You don't have to do that. You can, um, you don't have to call me. No, you don't have to chat. Please, I don't want you to feel inclined, nor do I want you to do that. Oh, Ricky. You're not very good. I feel like that should be a kill. I got a cousin named Ricky. Lives out in Denver. Make the next burp a bleg. Blech. How's that? No, Ricky. Ricky. No, Ricky, don't die. Oh, thank God. Whew. Today is one of those days where you just want to say, you know, ya mama. That's just where I'm at. Time to um get out of this crap hole and keep this game moving. You would think the next step would be to hop on over to Route 36. However, I had a smooth brain moment and was struggling to figure out how to get to the next route. Where do I go, left or right? I gotta pull my map out. This game's like a maze. Okay. I'm a little confused overall. Do I go this way? No. Okay. Cool. 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 Alright. Everybody needs to stop playing games with me and tell me where the heck I need to go because I am full-blown lost. See, I needed to get to Route 36, and in looking at my map, I thought I had to backtrack literally all the way around the map in order to get to Route 36. This would not be the first horrible decision of the day. On the side that connects Violet City. Okay, so do I have to, like, backtrack? So I've got to go all the way back to Violet City? Are you duking on my chest right now? I could kill a baby. I'm so mad. Please let me go. You freak. No, please let me run. Oh, God. Absolutely barbecue this thing. We're eating drowsy tonight. Aw. Did I burn your flesh? And I went up to level 21. 21? That's funny. Do I have to go through the island for... Oh my god. Repel. Use. I hate this place so much. Will this even kill it? It probably won't, because Ricky's so daggum terrible. Ah, oh, Ricky. You are ten levels higher. Ricky can be some duke sometimes. And if I didn't go the right way, I would just like to let everybody know that I will absolutely freak out. And I gotta go through Union Cave. Oh my god. Makes, it literally makes my chest hurt thinking about it. I hate that I'm having to do this right now. It makes me stabby would be the word that I want to use. Everything's horrible. Ricky, it's level six, buddy. Once I finally arrived at Route 36, I was met with a very disappointing realization. D 
did I... Did I not need to go that way? So, I couldn't get past this weird tree unless I got a squirt bottle from the flower shop back in Goldenrod City. But, I didn't do that. So, now we go all the way back. I'm furious. Cool, so I did go the wrong way. <laughs> Neat. Awesome. It's a good day. Who else is having fun? Just me? Oh my god. I I don't think I can mentally do this. I'm using the repel. I don't care what your mama says. I'm gonna go buy 50,000 repels. Can't believe I went all the way back there for absolutely no reason. That is nothing short of mind-numbingly infuriating. I will repel everything. Where's the G-darn flower shop before I have a conniption? I mean, where the is the dumpin' flower shop? No, I did not want to go into the circus. What is this? Got it. After finally securing the squirt bottle, I used my gigantic brain to figure out that I did not have to backtrack at all and could have literally just used a small path north of the city. Okay, apparently I can go this way. Let's give that a whirl. And it's a drowsy, and Ricky's out. Oh my god. All I had to do was just walk right there the whole time. And I was just a freaking idiot and didn't do it. I finally made it to Route 36, and now is the time to go to the mysterious tree and give it a nice squirt. See if I can do this. I'll use Ricky, because he's not going to kill it. All right, Ricky, don't get a critical hit, buddy, okay? Counting on you. Don't kill it, Ricky. Not even close, buddy. Not even close. Oh my god, I hope it doesn't break out so bad. Whoa! Oh my goodness gracious! To get in the ball. Pseudo Wudo. I caught the now moist Pseudo Wudo and took the short Route 37 towards Ecrotik City, dealing with more insane encounter rates, hindering me every single step of the way. Oh, a Stantler. Interesting. What you gonna do now, Stantler? Freaking ugly deer. What happens when I do this? Oh my god. Yep, Gugnoop, you better wake up right now. It's about, uh, it's about half past time for Gugnoop to evolve. And that's just me being transparent with everybody. Oh my god, the Pokemon in this game are relentless. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh my god. It is every two steps in this game. Once arriving in Ecrotique, I was greeted by this huge dork named Bill, who had a conversation with me about some nerd computer stuff before asking me to come visit him back in Goldenrod completely unsolicited conversation that I was uninterested in having. I picked up a dowsing machine from some guy, but I don't know what it does or why I have it, but I got it. After that, I stumbled upon what seemed to be a theater with one girl dancing on stage while a team rocket grunt verbally abused her and also some random people that were just like watching. Are you telling me you don't respect what the customer wants? This guy is really pushy. This guy makes me uncomfortable overall. And his dancing's horrible, he's been spinning around. Yeah, I am gonna get in your way, bub. Just wrecked a coughing. Something serious, two hits with the Zubat. After defeating the Team Rocket grunt, he, for some reason, told me that Team Rocket was working on an important mission, so I'm sure that will come up later. The pervy old man that was watching thanked me for saving the kimono girl by giving me HMO3 Surf, so I disinfected it and taught it to Ricky. You guys enjoy your weird, kind of strip club looking place. I then headed to this burned tower, aptly named Burned Tower, where three legendary beasts lurked menacingly in the exposed basement. Look at these guys dancing down there. See, now that's dancing. I then met Yusin, who was an edgy guy, obsessed with the legendary dogs. 
I also met Morty, the Ecrotic City gym leader, who I guess is also obsessed with the dogs, but before I could even question why there were so many guys hanging out inside of a building on the verge of collapsing, I was distracted by the horrible smell of a dirty, rotten criminal coming from the other side of the room. Okay, I'm not gonna bother him anymore. Oh my god, it's the freaking idiot. <laughs> Weenor. <laughs> yep, buddy. Just shut up and let's fight. Oh my god. Ugh, waste of freaking time, my life. I'm bringing out Bingus. I'm bringing out the absolute big guns. Magnemite, you are... Oh no, not scary face. Ah! Now you're dead. Have fun in hell. Yeah, I'll switch. To Ricky. Now you're screwed. Now you're screwed so much. This is a big moment. Everyone tune in. This is huge right now. This was a long time coming. On top of soundly beating Weenor, Gugnoop finally, by the grace of God, evolved into Golbat. God bless you, Gugnoop. You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. Shut up, Weenor. You're literally a criminal. You're literally, you commit crimes. I headed downstairs to go pet the doggies. Right when I got down there, the dogs immediately ran away, except for Suicune, who gave me a little kiss first. Yusin showed up, and before darting off, he went on about how much he wished Suicune kissed him. Anyway, Beaver, we will meet again. Sure. If you want to. With Gugnoop's possible evolution on the horizon, I took out some of the last trainers in the tower to see if Gugnoop loved me enough to change himself. Alright. Gugnoop, show me what you got, buddy. Ah, oh, you're already so much stronger. You're just such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Look at him. And he's so handsome. Kill it, Ricky. Take its bones. Good boy, Ricky. I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm keeping Gugnoop in. I'm getting me a crowbat. Yes, sir. Oh. So close. Ooh. We got ourselves a battle. Golbat's about to evolve into a crowbat, hopefully. Please evolve, please evolve, please evolve. Cuck noop. <sighs> I'll take it all back. I'll take it all back if you evolve right now. Yes! Gug noop, this is your redemption arc. This is a good day. I took Gug Noop, raw with newfound power, and decided to face Morty at the Ecrotique City Gym. After seeing what Gug Noop Unchained was capable of, I may have gotten a little carried away. All right, Gug Noop, bro, show him what you got. Bite that fool. It's a, it's a new day. It's a new day for Mr. Gugnoop. From where we were to where we are now, I can't even begin to describe how proud of Gugnoop I am. Was I a little hard on him? Yeah, I think a little bit. But did that in turn give me an amazing Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah, it did. God bless you, Gugnoop. Okay, why you got five Gastlys? Uh, uh. What's up, old lady? I mean, I'm sticking with Bite. It's probably not going to take it out one hit KO. But it does, though! But it but it does, though. Yes, sir, Gugnoop. Let's keep it going. Medium Edith was an absolute pushover. Required no effort. Bunch of old ladies in here. Guys, you keep slinging out these Gatsleys. They're going to get bit by Gugnoop. I, I, I lost. <laughs> yeah, you did, Martha. You garbage. With a trail of dead ghastlies in our wake, I approached Morty, who immediately started talking about how he believes he is the trainer destined to meet a sacred Pokemon spoken of only in legend. Pray to your bird god all you want, Morty, because after Gugnoop destroys you, he will destroy your god. This is your reckoning, Morty. This is God Slayer Gug Noob. Yeah, bro, you're about to get bit to death. You're about to face these chompers. Oh, a ghastly? Hope it's got its rabies shot. Gugfinity. I'm I'm not subbing anyone out. This is Gug Noob's day. 
This is Cook Noob's day. I have chills. Morty proved to be just another poor bastard that stood in between Gug Noob and his quest for unlimited power. How is it possible? Let me tell you how it's possible, Morty. Two words. Gug Noob. Yeah. Yeah, Morty. Because what I have, it's a purple bat and its name's Gug Noob. Morty held out his trembling hand and gave us the fog badge the fourth in our collection. Give me the badge, Morty. Gugnoob's redemption arc begins here, but he is not even close to reaching full power. Gugnoob, however, is not the only one on the team in need of an upgrade. What will happen next? We'll find out next time, or follow the journey live on Twitch with the link in my bio. I'm a new creator, so liking, subscribing, and sharing will help me grow. My name is Wolf Duckworth, the Quack God, the Lord of the Stream, and I thank you for watching.